So now we're going to overview some basic Moodle editing. Uh, we'll start with the basic part of editing, which is turn editing on. Uh, to turn on editing, you have two possibilities. You can do it in the course settings right there. Or you can go to turn on editing on the other side of the screen, top right corner. I usually click it there. Um, once you turn on editing, you'll enter into a different view. Before, you could say you were almost in uh, the student view. Uh, you weren't really completely in the student view, but you were in a view that's pretty similar to the student view. But now you're in an instructor's view. The instructor's view allows you to change anything you want within those modules that represent Moodle. Um, we'll start by just getting to know the different icons and what they do. So let's. Uh, you'll notice that at the top block, the top block's a little bit different from the other blocks because it's the only block that cannot be hidden. That's right. So Moodle allows you to hide every block. You can hide anything from your course. You can hide your whole course. But the top block, once a student is inside the course, it's always there even if it's empty because you cannot get completely rid of the top block. Every other block, if you see, has an eye. So the eye so far in all Moodle versions that I've worked with is the way to hide a topic or make visible a topic. So if I click on the eye, I will hide anything in topic one. So if a student would join my site, they would see nothing in topic one. I could see it, they could not see it. Now, there's nothing right now in topic one, so that wouldn't make a difference. But what that allows you to do is that technically you could have your whole, whole course set up, including assignment deadlines and uh, assignment uploads. You could have forums ready for people to comment. You could have all the key assignments in your course, all the readings, everything set up already but just hidden from you, from the student. So it's hidden, they can just, you can simply unhide it when you want it to be visible to the student. This is the manual way to hide and unhide. There's other ways to do this by setting dates that it automatically becomes visible. However, I prefer to work manually. There are ways to do this in a way that is more automated that happens by you setting a date for it to open or close. 